Today, let's do something fun and actually pretty useful with Cloud Workflows. That's the ability to call external APIs. We'll create a new workflow definition, and this time we'll actually use the sample that is provided uh, when we create a new workflow definition. This uh, workflow has got three steps. The first step shows a first call to an HTTP GET to a Cloud function. So this cloud function is returning the day of the week. So for example, for today, that's going to be Monday. Then the result of this HTTP get on this endpoint is going to be stored in the result variable. The next step of our workflow, we're going to call the Wikipedia API again with an HTTP get, but this time we'll add some extra parameters. We'll define some query parameters. Uh, action, open search, and search. Here, look at how we are reusing the result of the previous execution. The result was stored in the current date time. We access the body of that response, and we're accessing the day of the week key in the dictionary returned. And we're storing the result again in another variable, wiki result. In the third step, return output, we're going to return the body of that previous call, and we're actually returning the second element of the array. And if you look at the structure that is returned by the uh, Wikipedia API, so it's uh, an array. This one is the uh, results we're interested in. So let's execute this. Let's get ready, no particular input. Click the Execute button. For the first time, you're seeing that the call is currently active because it hasn't finished while the Cloud Workflows UI was refreshing. So let's refresh. It should be finished now. Yes, it succeeded. And let's have a look at the result. Yeah, Monday, Monday Night Football, Monday Night Wars, etc. So it's a very handy feature to be able to call things like local Cloud Functions, your uh, functions, your Cloud Run, your App Engine, your VM, etc. External APIs, uh, third-party APIs, uh, software as a service, etc. It's a great way to open up your workflow definitions and executions to the inside world of GCP or in the outer world to do more advanced things. In upcoming episodes, we'll also have a look at how things go when they actually don't go that well. How do you handle error recovery? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.